Hey everyone, Tyson the Subaru Specialist here. This is our 2021 Subaru Forester Sport. So Forester remains mostly unchanged for the 2021 model year, but there are a few nice changes. I personally really like the sport trim level myself, those orange accents, the black wheels. I think it looks really sharp, it really shows up on the white as well as the blue and the dark gray. Those in my opinion are the best colors. Continues on the back here, we've got the sport badging. We get a power lift gate you could do from the door, the driver's seat, or the key fob. We've got the backup sensors in the rear bumper. Those are those small, dirty little circles. Now, they will actually apply the brakes if it thinks you're going to hit something in reverse. Very, very effective. It's terrifying when it works. Great for parking lots. And on the back of the Forester, there's a ton of storage, kind of what they're known for. Nice, big, boxy opening. Privacy cover standard. Hides everything from the top of the seats down. The cargo tray standard as well. Protects the carpet. You can also lock everything. If you do that power gate by hand, you will not wreck anything. Nice change that they've made on the updated model. On the inside, in the back, room to fit up to three people comfortably across. Two USB ports for charging and there's vents out of the center console. So the back heats up and cools down much more quickly than prior. The Sport gets the orange accents with the tie down points, front and rear. It is a proximity key, so if you wanted to lock it, so long as you have the key on your person and the vehicle's not running, you just put your finger on these lines and it'll lock. If I do it right now, it's just gonna beep at me. Don't know if you can hear that, but it's just beeping saying the vehicle's running. On the inside, power windows, locked mirrors, as you would expect. The sport orange theme kind of continues throughout the interior. You get some nice orange vent trim the center console trim. It is a power driver's seat. Now this is the gray sport cloth, so it's a little bit more textured. I wouldn't say it's any more robust. I quite like it. It looks good. It's comfortable. On the inside here, like I was saying, the orange theme continues all throughout the cab. Quite nice. On the inside of the mirrors, you have a little black screen. That's your blind spot detection. It illuminates orange. Kind of fits the theme. Uh, but that lets you know someone's in your blind spot on that side. On the left hand side here, we've got Bluetooth and audio controls. You can make and take calls, control the volume of the calls and the music. Right hand side has our adaptive cruise, our lane centering assist. And now this is an exclusive. We get intelligent and then sport sharp mode. So bottom left says P for park. Next to that's I for intelligent, sport sharp. Torque curve goes almost straight up. So you accelerate more aggressively, hold shifts longer, better access to your power. New for 2021, heated steering wheel on the Sport. Keeps your hands nice and toasty. Up top, little information screen. You can cycle through these with the info button on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. Gives you a bunch of information that you can use while driving. It's also where our climate control displays. And as you can see, high is 30 degrees, low is 15. And then it's easy to sync it back up to just one temperature. Eight inch display, AM, FM, CD, satellite radio. You also have your backup camera through it. It is all touchscreen, or you've got the physical buttons there. Still have a CD player. I know lots of companies don't. But yeah, the second you put it in reverse, backup camera pops up. And you can actually wash the backup camera in the Foresters and the Outbacks, which is very, very handy. Rear assist braking's on, parking sensors are on. Climate controls are physically changed from here. It is an automatic transmission. I know that you're getting glare off of the sunroof there, but drive and manual mode. Got heated seats high and low for the driver and passenger. And then we have dual function X mode. So instead of just a push button, it's a dial. So when you twist to the left, it's for snow and mud. That screen always comes up. When you twist it to the right, deep snow, deep mud. Also turns off the traction control, allows you to chew through the really gross stuff. Push down turns back to normal and then what I just closed the panoramic sunroof so it is quite giant goes into the second row behind the headrest of the first row it's awesome even pastors appreciate it so that's a brief overview of the 2021 Subaru Forester Sport I'm Tyson the Subaru Specialist talk to you guys soon